All right, guys. Hey, I, I thought this was kind of interesting, so I wanted to share this as well as we're talking about replacing the front fenders. So if you remember earlier in the videos, I talked about the fact that I found an original factory front fender, a uh, front right fender, so passenger side, and uh, super rare. And uh, it was on this guy's shelf. It had been sitting there for 60 years, okay? And uh, so perfect, never used, perfect replacement. But on it had a part number, and I thought this was really interesting, like how they decipher the codes. So I just thought I'd share with with you guys how uh, the codes are deciphered. So this is the, uh, the, the part that I got, and uh, this is a brand new fender. But if you notice, right here is a, uh, is a part number, okay? And the way that we know that it's actually a uh, 1960s Lincoln is the first letter is C. So C represents the year that it was actually uh, produced. So C is 60s. Uh, if it was a B, that'd be the 50s. If it was A, it'd be 1940s. Um, I'm told that uh, some of the 1940s pieces didn't have actual codes, but some of them did. Three stands for the year. So this was actually produced in 1963. Fortunately, I'm using this for a 64, and 1961 through 64 are the exact same bumpers. The only difference is uh, where the antenna hole was. There was a bracket right there, but, um, but it actually doesn't matter because it's not drilled. V stands for uh, Lincoln, and also Y uh, means that it's an original Lincoln part. It wasn't a reproduction. So this says it was built in 1963, and it's an original. It's a Lincoln part that's original. Now the rest of this uh, represents the actual code for the uh, for the um, for the part. Just saying, hey. Uh, if it's a weather stripping part, what have you, I guess they knew, uh, they took numbers and put it on every single part. So this is an original part, and A, again, just means that it is an original piece uh, made to all the specs. So super cool to find um, the bumper and everything that uh, shows that it's an original piece. So if you have uh, if you have some pieces, you can actually decode them just by the part number. Um, I thought that was interesting. Hopefully you find it interesting and who knows, maybe you'll find some original Lincoln parts or um, some original Ford parts.